In this video, we're going to cover downloading and installing LightWallet-D, configuring Zebra-D to run with LightWallet-D, and connecting a LightWallet to our internal server. Once Zebra-D is fully synced, navigate back to the Zebra-D build instructions. To configure Zebra-D to run with LightWallet-D, we're going to need to make changes to the configuration file. Simply copy and paste the example lines under the RPC header in the configuration file and delete any duplicate lines. Save the file. Next, we need to generate a zcash.conf file for LightWallet-D. For the build method in this demonstration, the file can be completely blank. Simply create a new file and select Save. The default location is in the .config folder. The default file name is zcash.conf. To download LightWallet-D, select the Documentation tab in the Zebra-D build instructions. Select LightWallet-D. Select Download and Build Instructions. Before we install LightWallet-D, we need to install the Go programming language. For instructions on installing Go, you can select the link and follow the instructions on the site. But for this demonstration, we'll simply install the Snap package by entering the following command. sudo snap install go dash dash classic. The Snap package is an older version but will be suitable for this purpose. Next, copy and run the git clone command to download LightWallet-D. Next, we'll change directories into LightWallet-D and run the make and make install commands. Enter cd lightwallet d. Run make. Run make install. Once the installation is complete, we need to stop and restart zebra d to apply the changes from the configuration file. Next, navigate back to the build instructions and copy the LightWallet-D run command. We will have to enter the no TLS very insecure flag to run it without an X509 certificate. Our LightWallet will be on the very same desktop and we will not be opening any ports for outside wallet connections, so this will be suitable. Type dot forward slash and paste the copied run command. You will receive an error stating that there is no detected X509 certificate. Run the command with the no TLS very insecure flag.
PlayWalletD will begin syncing the database. This will take a few hours. To connect Zec Wallet Lite to our Lite Wallet D, open the wallet and select Server Info. From the Wallet tab, select Switch Lite Wallet D Server. Select Custom and enter http colon double forward slash 127.0.0.1.9067 You will be prompted to restart the wallet. Close and reopen the wallet. We'll now see the wallet is synced and can check that we are connected to our internal server. To connect Y Wallet, select the button in the top right and select Settings. Similarly, Select Custom and enter HTTP colon double forward slash 127.0.0.1 colon 9067. We'll now see that we are connected to our LightWallet D server. If we attempt to open the wallet without LightWallet D server running, then we will receive an error and a prompt to switch our server. In the next video, we will cover running ZebraD and LightWalletD on testnet, running a command line testnet compatible wallet, uninstalling ZebraD and LightWalletD, removing their database folders, and uninstalling Go and Rust.